That's cool, right? The script Python that I provided to you also can provide you uh, not only the balance in the Ethereum. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head under my bed. Hey, welcome to Rifki the Cyber. Stalking is the bad attitude, but to do using the OSIN is not saying same like a stalking. OSIN is the open source intelligence that the tools, there's very powerful tools that can automate together and collecting collections of the informations that publicly in the internet. We can uncovering and make some insight with that one. Usually OSIN is built because the due to the function is really automatically scanning rather than googling here and googling that. That is a good, for example, to check the integrity of the individuals or the integrity of the uh, of the organizations. This is do execute by in the legal manner and also in the ethical manner. Right now, I I'm going to show you to you how to do the OSIN for the cryptocurrency. How we do this? First, you need to have a coffee first and sit back and relax and follow my channel. Follow this video. First thing, we need to go to the GitHub of the Spiderfoot. I think this is the GitHub. We download my Scalef Spiderfoot. This is, is the GitHub of the Spiderfoot. A lot of here, blah, 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 blah. You can check. There are so many functions here. So what I'm going to do is I will just download this code and put it in the desktop. Now, what I'm going to do is I will just using the Docker to install this or to have the uh, functionality of this uh, spider foot for us so it's already in the desktop i will just unzip this one spider foot go to the spider foot directory and then you can find the docker file here so i just simply running the docker uh, build dot dot that means indicate this file in the current file docker file i will just give the tagging spider foot the tagging is one simply like that oh this is not yet running i need to run the docker first docker run okay docker is starting okay now we can use this one docker build and in this file in the docker file this is the tagging like i mentioned before now it's running run 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 okay that's great now for the second command i just run this one I am saying, please running this image and then I will build the container and forward everything from the inside the container, expose it to the port 8282. So we just run this. I will just use this one. We can find Okay, here we are. We already have spider foot. Congratulations. Now what we're gonna do we will create the new scan. The new scan can be used for the all things or required data or for example by module. Because today I'm going to show to you the OSIN for the cryptocurrency that I'm going to deselect everything. So what I'm going to do, I will find everything related with Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum for example, this one, this one, uh, blockchain, I'm going to use this one. Also Bitcoin already have here. Bitcoin finder and then after that blockchain Bitcoin what about cryptocurrency do they have that one nothing so we are good to go to do this now what we're gonna do I will just put here the name is scan Bitcoin we will using the address that we can get it let's say from this website source kinder Dorf. for example we will use this and I will for example, we use this and I will just copy the file, uh, the address of the Bitcoin. We just put it here and then we are good to go to running the scanning now. Scanning will take time. Great, guys. It's done. We can find here the Bitcoin address. Of course, this is, is the one that I just provided before. And also the amazing things. We know how much is the balance for this one. So we can get it here. The balance of this one is around uh, 0 0.019, right? Wow, quite good money for that one, right? So let's say, if example, we want to check Bitcoin to USD and we just put the value here, we will know how much is the value in the USD, right? This is the value, 375 USD for this one now we will try to use another one ethereum i will just copy the address and we will just check from this one 
So I will go to the scan. I will clone this one because I don't want to check here, check that, etc. And I will just use this one. Oh, it seems the spider foot is not running properly for this one. It's not running very well. Let's test again if I put it like this. Okay. Running like this. That's good. That's good. Okay. In the background, you can check also. Oh, scan completed. Let's check. Unfortunately, we only, we don't see a lot of things. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to provide you another script. You can download it from here. Download the script from my GitHub. I will put it later in the descriptions. Okay. We will just download this one. We put it the script here. And then... We will go to the desktop because I put it in the desktop. Oh, I need to unzip this. Okay, we got a file already. So we just go to like this. And we just running the Python 3 with, my, with the script that I provide. Like this. And we just put it here the scanning that we just provide before let's check here this is the script uh sorry i mean this is is the the bitcoin i think i was eliminated like um like this right supposedly like this let's check that's cool right the script python that i provided to you also can provide you not only the balance in the ethereum but also in the usd this is great right so this is not all. Before go that one, I'm going to show to you also the web for the to currency for the Ethereum. There is another way also if you want to use it. So for example, address and then we put it like this. Boom. It can provide you also the value and the balance. And the most interesting things, you can create the insight because you can see the transactions here. This is the transactions. And also there is an internal transactions. You can find in the documentations that provided here, of course. You can also check the guest user. I mean, the value of how the effort of the computational in every each of the transactions for this you can also using another one for example the bitcoin using this one blockchain explorer use the btc we can put it here and boom we can get the value of this bitcoin balance and how much is the balance here and we can find like bitcoin abuse i think this is is the website is it like this few reports we can see this is, is the account that make abuse, for example. We can check it from here as well. View the address in the blockchains, etc. So this is, is also the part of OSIN as well. We can use it for you can automate this if you want to automate. So you got already the spider foot. You got already the Python. So it's up to you which one that familiar for you, that which one is the most comfortable for you. You also get also with the web base, the one that I showed to you in this from the several uh, web that I just showed to you. So like I always say, keep learning and stay humble.